I'm Andrew E. Friedman with Tom's Hardware, and we have the Xbox Series X here in our lab. So we're going to unbox it for you, we're going to give you a little bit of a tour of the system, and we're going to show you some really quick first impressions, but we haven't been able to try it yet. So in the box, it has a whole bunch of the specs, like it lists the fact that you can go up to 4K 120fps on some games, you get 4K HDR, it talks about the velocity architecture for the SSD, but we're going to get more into that detail later, so let's just keep going. Um, Master Chief is huge on the back of the box. It's a bit of a shame Halo Infinite was delayed and won't be launching with the system, but hopefully there's going to be a lot of other games that power our dreams. When we turn again, it's just a picture of the system, tells us that we have a 1TB SSD, and of course that it's the Series X and not its sibling, the Series S. But now let's get to opening this. Here we have a lot of foam, so let's throw that to the side because we're not going to need that anymore. And here is a big brick, also it says Power Your Dreams, and I'm going to assume this is the Xbox Series X, but we're going to take this and just place it to the side for a minute. I know you really want to get to this, but we got to see what else is in this box. Oh, I see what's in this box. There is more foam. So let's get this foam out of the way. We're not going to need that. And there's a little like door tag style thing with some setup instructions. That'll be useful a little while later when we get to our testing. There's a little fold here, and open that up, and there's a bunch of stuff and some packaging. This looks like it's going to be the new Xbox Series X and Series S controller. So let's take this out of the packaging, and it is, um, it's actually got like a bit of a matted texture feel, I kind of like it. It's definitely a little smaller, still takes AA batteries, and it's got the new D-pad. And it comes with two AA batteries included, which is good because I don't have a ton of those on hand, but I'm going to need some more. We also have our HDMI cable and our power adapter, so we're going to need those, but we're not setting up yet. Let us get to what we really came for, and that is the Xbox Series X. So we're going to, first we're going to have to slide this off here, that's not going to be too hard. And there's still a bunch of paper on this, so give me a second as I unwrap it like it is Christmas morning, which means polite, because that's how you're supposed to unwrap things. The anticipation is killing me. Here we go. It's the Xbox Series X, and I have to say, on first impression, once I stand this up here, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. This will fit in my entertainment center just fine. So now it's really time to take a tour of the console, which we've unboxed here. So let's get in and get a little bit of a closer look at it. Here we have the front ports, we have the disk drive on the left, the eject button, and a USB type A port. And then if we look at the top, you get that little green, this is where the top fans go. There's a lot of holes, but I think this is going to be really efficient for cooling, and I really like the effect you get as like you approach it head on. I think that's a really nice design right there. Now here's the back, and you can see that it looks like there's another hole for some more um, cooling, and a lot of holes for cooling. Now if we get closer to the ports, you're going to see that we have another two USB Type-A ports, Ethernet, HDMI port, and a, sp a space for the custom storage solution. There's also a Kensington lock slot slightly out of frame here. On the bottom we have the base, it says Xbox and Hello from Seattle, which is kind of cute. Um, you can't take this base off, so it is permanently attached even when you lay it on the side. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but ultimately is not that big of a deal. And now here, um, you can see there's feet only on one side, and you can just turn it sideways, and this is what it looks like. This drive is on the top, and I think I can get used to that. Here's the controller. Um, again, it's a little smaller than the previous one. It's got the new D-pad, and as well as the share button, and the triggers and everything is really largely the same as the previous Xbox One controller, so it's not that different. And that's everything in the box with the Xbox Series X. You got the controller, the power adapter, the HDMI, and of course the Xbox Series X itself. And we're really looking forward to getting to test it and telling you what we find. Um, so keep it locked on Tom's Hardware for more.